CTV National News with Lloyd Robertson. Good evening. The federal government may have to order an end to the grain handlers' strike. Federal mediator Bill Kelly told union and management today either accept binding arbitration or face the consequences. Kelly still doesn't have a firm reply to his demand from either side. Grain handlers shut down the port of Prince Rupert, B.C. a month ago, cutting grain exports by 30 percent and costing prairie farmers millions. Alan Fryer has the story. After two days of talks, it became clear this morning that the mediation process was going nowhere. Have you failed to get a settlement? I just know that the weather in Ottawa is very bad and really stormy. Bill Kelly, the government mediator, had only one card left to play. He proposed the strikers go back to work and that both sides agree to submit the most difficult issue, the question of who should man the terminal's control room, to a third party for binding arbitration. And I think it's a very serious proposal, and it's up to the parties now whether uh, they accept or reject that proposal. But it didn't take long for the company to all but say no to Kelly's ideas. Uh, no matter how well informed a third party might be, it would be putting the uh, issue of how to manage the terminal in the hands of that third party. And we don't feel that that is appropriate. The union, though, said it would accept binding arbitration on one condition. And the condition is that the arbitrator must be Judge Emmett Hall. The labor minister says he'll wait for an official response from management before deciding what to do next. But he made it clear he won't wait for long. And if the parties renounce to their responsibilities to find a solution, somebody will have to do something. And obviously, somebody will. If the company holds firm and turns down arbitration, the strike will continue unless the government legislates an end to it. And Ottawa is under mounting pressure from Western farmers to do just that.